Hello everyone, welcome to today's edition of the bottom line. Here are the top headlines. Singapore eases COVID-19 travel restrictions, Greece to scrap several COVID-19 travel restrictions from May 1st. Dubai prepares to welcome global travel industry for ATM 2022. Karnataka makes social distancing and masks must, no penalty yet. With five weekly commercial flights from Mumbai and a new campaign designed for India, Mauritius plans to woo Indian travelers back. Norwegian Bliss launches 2022 Alaskan cruise season. Singapore eases its COVID-19 restrictions by announcing that there will no longer be any tests for vaccinated travellers. But even though the country has lifted travel restrictions, here are some important points to keep in mind. Starting from July 1, 2022, all long-term pass holders between the ages of 13 and 17 years travelling to Singapore need to be fully vaccinated. Pre-departure COVID-19 tests will no longer be necessary for all vaccinated travellers and non-fully vaccinated children aged 12 and below. However, for travellers aged 13 years and above, and fully vaccinated rules remain unchanged. For unvaccinated travellers, pre-departure tests within 48 hours before the departure is mandatory and seven-day home quarantine upon arrival followed by a PCR test at the end of the quarantine period. In a bid to promote tourism, Greece has announced to remove all major COVID-19 restrictions from May 1. So from next month, travellers wanting to visit Greece will not need to carry their vaccination proof, COVID-19 negative test report or proof of recovery. With this move, Greece has become the latest country determined to go back to pre-pandemic life. Apparently, the nation had reopened its borders to travellers back in May 2021. But there were myriad protocols such as proof of vaccination, booster shot proof, recovery proof and show negative PCR report not older than 72 hours or a rapid antigen test taken within 24 hours of their arrival. Minister of Health Thanos Leveris said, according to the epidemiological data and the suggestions of the experts, we are announcing the roadmap for the de-escalation of the measures against the COVID-19 pandemic. All measures will be reviewed on September 1st depending on the picture of the pandemic. Arabian Travel Market 2022 is ready to welcome the world to the UAE from 9 to 12 May, playing host to 1,500 exhibitors, representatives from 112 global destinations and an anticipated 20,000 attendees. The live show will be followed by ATM Virtual, which will run from 17 to 18 May, taking place at Dubai World Trade Center in collaboration with Dubai's Department of Economy and Tourism. The 29th edition of ATM will form an essential part of the UAE's annual Arabian Travel Week. Kerry Prince, Chief Growth Officer, Arek said, business travel expenditure in the Middle East is forecast to rise by 32% this year, according to the World Travel and Tourism Council, and these figures underscored the positive sentiment that we have experienced throughout the region. That's all we have for you in today's edition of The Bottom Line. Stay tuned for more such travel industry updates. Have a great day. Thank you.